welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming with you with a requested video thank you so much for the person who requested this on my previous video so in one of my previous videos I did a reveal of this mini wallet or of this Gucci card holder and somebody requested for a review and I didn't realize that the video I did is not really a review, it's just a reveal. I'm new to this YouTube thing, so please do bear with me. Anyway, I got this wallet around 8 months ago, I'm not really sure. But I've been using it constantly ever since. Like, um, This is my other wallet, so this is my big um, Louis Vuitton Epi Emily wallet. So these are the two wallets I've been using um, for the past year, pretty much. And you can see the size comparison. So whenever I've been using bigger bags, this is the wallet I'm using. And whenever I'm using smaller bags, this is the wallet I move into. And they have both worked out really well for me. So today I'm going to show you how I would move from the bigger wallet. This is really quite big. It's, it's not full, but as you can see, it's pretty well packed. And I want to show you how well everything fits into this smaller wallet. So so this is just empty i can fit four cards in the front so i've got my id cards my credit cards got there we go and a few people have asked me um how many wallets i can fit comfortably at the back pocket here as you can see so this is the zipper compartment for the coins and you have another compartment here and there's another compartment here so let's see how many cards we can fit in so i've got one two three four five extra cards here can fit in actually i can i can fit five of them at just one back pocket um it is quite a tight fit so i won't recommend doing that but i'm pretty sure i can do three on each side with no problem there we go. No bulging whatsoever. So let's say if you can fit five cards here and five cards here, you can take ten cards with you, no problem. Um, you can squeeze in another extra one or two. I don't think it's going to be any big deal. It's really not tight at all. You can really easily get in and out of there. And the one thing I love the most about this card holder, it's really not a card holder, it's really more of a wallet, is this cash compartment. Because I'm not a person who likes to fold cash. I do, I have to carry quite a bit of cash with me in this country. I've got a big stack of cash here. I mean, this is just a random mix of currencies. So you can see even with some of the, um, the bigger notes, it still fits really nicely inside. Okay, this is quite tight. I mean, that is quite a lot. But still fits I mean so this is quite a tight fit I wouldn't carry it like that but I do I do have quite a few of the bigger notes in here so let's see if we only carry I think these are the ones that's problematic because it's a bit longer so Yeah, that's much better you need and for coins this is quite a big compartment as you can see so you can fit quite a bit in here there you go this is just a um, fabric line so it stays clean let's see got a bunch of coins in here there you go I wouldn't carry this much in this wallet but Let's see if you can fit them all in here. There you go. And you can. Ta da! And see how much smaller this is compared to this. And let me show you how well this fits into my smaller bags. If you haven't checked out my previous video of the my mini a Chanel mini rectangular reveal. Um, you can see there in that this fits really well inside and but this is the bag I usually use it with this is my Gucci 
Disco Soho and see it fits perfectly well with a bunch of other items I've been using this bag so excuse me another let me show you with another bag this is just um, a bag that I made so it's not a luxury brand but yes I did make I did make this bag but this is about um, 22 centimeters across so I think this is comparable to a bigger wallet on chain like the YSL one and this fits really really well inside as well there you see so I stand by my previous statement that this is one of the best small wallet for a small bag let's talk about wear and tear I've been using this wallet constantly and I would say about 60% of 80% of the time for the past eight months there has been quite a few wear and tear and you see there see you can see there's a small wear on the leather over here as you can see this really annoys me but I mean it's not too bad and I don't think this is something you can fix because it's not a scuff this is like literally the top part of the leather have came off which is quite annoying let's see I've got a bit of um, scuffing on the corner you can see this darker patch here now um, let's see it's still in a really really nice condition I mean it doesn't it's almost brand new you can see there's a bit of a scuffing here as well there you go you can see this is a dark darker in the corner but that's to be expected so over there as well in the corner here I mean if you get this wallet in black I think it will last a lot longer but I do love this red color as you can see it's a bit darker there as well the thing is I haven't tried to clean this wallet yet so I think with a bit of um, baby wipes will will be all good see I think this is mainly just dirt and this hardware as you can see there is a bit of scuffing there but overall it still looks really nice and shiny what about on the inside as you can see this middle part if you fit in too much stuff inside this middle part do fold in like this but I mean it's annoying but it's not really a big deal for me it's this nice metal zipper that I really appreciate and it's really smooth as well and I haven't had any problem with the pull in the cash compartment still looks perfect to me so if you're in the market for a, a compact wallet to wear with your smaller bags this is a perfect solution do let me know if you give this one a try and let me know how you like it or please do let me know which one is your favorite small wallet because I'm always looking for that perfect small wallet and I'm obsessed with small leather goods so I'm really looking forward to adding more to my collection there you go thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye